After you have got a fresh new Windows copy installed on your computer with all the drivers, with all the programs that you're using, just go ahead and back it up. And then you, after you create a backup, you can be safe, secure that if anything happens, you just go back to this backup, click recover my disk, and it's gonna completely recover your disk in probably like five to 10 minutes. Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to install a Chronos True image on your computer. If you have Windows or any other operating system on your computer, and in case you have to reinstall it, you can do it in just few seconds. And I'm gonna show you how to do this real easy. And for that, you're just gonna need a backup program called a Chronos, or you can use any other program. I'm just gonna show it to you as an example. But this is really great because it gives you a lot of freedom. In case you get something wrong going with the computer, let's say your operating system starts crashing or it gets a virus or something else happens and you just don't want to use those windows restore points because lots of times they just don't work very good so for this case if you use this program it's going to take you like five minutes to reinstall the whole operating system and today i'm going to show you how to create a bootable usb drive with a chronos true image so you can reinstall your operating system in just a few minutes so let's go get started let's go Having a couple USB sticks with a Chronos Disk Director and a Chronos True Image is my essential tools when I reinstall Windows because it allows you to work with hard drive with per different partitions as well as it allows you to create a virtual image of your whole partition like of the whole disk and it will allow you to recover your windows within like five to ten minutes and i actually bought this cheap usb 2.0 16 gigabyte flash drives just so i can install a chronis disk director a chronis true image and windows on one of them and then i just don't have to rewrite it unlike using the bigger USB sticks that are more expensive and you don't need so much space. I do prefer having these little ones and they're cheap. You can get like five of them for $20 and you can use it anytime you need it. This way you don't have to create it over and over again. Okay, let's do this now. So first let's go ahead and install Acronis on our computer and then we can create a bootable USB media when we have it installed on the computer. I will just guide you quickly through the installation process. Just gotta click install and it will automatically install the program. The installation process is probably taking a couple minutes, maybe two, three minutes, depending on the computer, how fast it is. Once the installation process is complete, we can go ahead and start it. And I've been using Acronis True Image for quite a while. It seems to be working pretty good. So I do recommend it. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm just sharing with you what programs I, I'm using myself. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and accept, okay. And if you're using some other programs, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll be really happy to check it out as well and maybe they're working better than this, but I've been using this for quite a while. So I'm just gonna click close. So let's go ahead and unbox this cheap USB drives and see how they're working. You can get five of them for $20. I think this is pretty cool. Let's go have a look at them. There we go, this is our USB stick. And as you can see, it does show 14.4 gigabyte, which is normal when you get a 16 gigabyte USB drive, it's just gonna show a little bit less. So we're gonna create a bootable USB drive on this disk. Let's go ahead and close it right now. And to create a bootable USB media, you just gotta go over here and just click on the Rescue Media Builder. Then click simple. It will automatically configure all the necessary settings for this computer. Then in this window, you just got to choose which drive you want to use to create a bootable USB media. Just got to click on the new drive that we just installed. Then you just got to click proceed. So it will only require 613 megabyte of storage. This is why I'm using the cheap 16 gigabyte USB drive instead of using like a let's say a 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte, which I know they're not expensive at this moment anymore, but still it would be a great waste of storage. You really don't wanna use this USB stick once you have burnt a uh, bootable media on it. So it's just gonna be strictly dedicated for the bootable media. So here it shows you the summary. It says bootable media type. It's gonna be a Linux based media required space 613 megabyte and target media is gonna be the one that we just installed and go proceed. So it's gonna take a few minutes to create a bootable USB media. It's gonna to have to copy all the files to the USB stick so that it can boot from the USB stick. Even if you don't have Windows installed on your computer, you can still use it or if the Windows doesn't boot at all. It approximately takes about 
two to three minutes to copy all the files and to create a bootable media. Once the installation process is complete, you're gonna get this window right here and actually a quick summary how you can recover your windows if it doesn't boot up. When the windows cannot start, you just gotta connect the bootable media to your computer, arrange the boot order in the BIOS and boot the computer from the bootable media and select a Cronus True image. And I'm gonna show it to you right now how you can work with it. So let's go ahead and try it out. Just gonna click close. Now it's all created, you can close Acronis. And we're gonna restart computer right now. Just gotta keep pressing F8 once it starts to boot. Right now you just gotta press F8. So as you can see, when you press F8 at the BIOS startup or at the POST screen, you can choose which drive you're gonna be using for booting the system. And as you can see, we have a few different booting drives over here. And here's our USB drive. It says UEFI USB Disk 2.0. So this is gonna be our 16 gigabyte USB drive. And this is where the Acronis Disk Director is. And make sure to plug in the USB stick in the back of the computer and not through the front panel because it might not work properly. Always just plug it in straight to the motherboard. This will make sure it's gonna work properly. And press OK. As you can see, Acronis True Image starts to load. It just shows over here in this top corner. So it actually looks pretty much like Windows, but it's not actual Windows. It's just creating a look of Windows. And here you can see that you can back up, you can recover, and you can also use some tools and utilities. You can clone disk, add new disk, and uh, Acronis Drive Cleanser to securely destruct the data on the hard drive. The reason why we have created this bootable media is actually gonna be to back up your disk and to recover your disk. And I'm gonna show you how to back up your disk after you have got a fresh new Windows copy installed on your computer with all the drivers, with all the programs that you're using, just go ahead and back it up. And what it's gonna do, just gonna create a full copy of the whole disk and then in case something happens, let's say your computer crashes or you get a virus in your computer or sometimes Windows installs updates that don't work very good and then it doesn't recover properly. So for this case, having this program is priceless because after you create a backup, you can be safe, secure that if anything happens, you just go back to this backup, click recover my disk and it's gonna completely recover your disk in probably like five to 10 minutes, depending on your machine. So I find this is real helpful and you don't need to spend hours to recover your disks. We're gonna do this next. So just as an example, I'm just gonna create a quick backup of my disk. You just gotta click over here, backup my disk. And then you gotta find the actual disk where you have your windows installed and it usually automatically finds it right here so it's a drive c and it also has a recovery partition and other system partition so all you have the check marks right here and then you just click next now you have to find where it's going to be creating this new backup just gotta click browse and let's say you want to create it over here on this sun disk and you can create another folder. Let's call it backup. Okay. Now you can just call it, let's say Windows 10 test. All right, so let's click okay. So now we have the Windows 10 test, next. And before you go proceed, you can also check the options. And if you create in a first time backup, I would recommend going full because it's actually creating a full copy. But if you're saving some additional settings or additional changes to your backup, let's say 
you already had a back backup and you have made some changes and you want to save those changes and then you go incremental and it will save only those changes without having to create a new full backup so go full backup go proceed and there we go so it will only take probably a few minutes to create this whole backup i'm not going to show you to you the whole process and i'm going to meet you when it's all over and actually as you can see it moves pretty quick so it's only going to take probably less than a minute to create the whole backup maybe maybe a little bit more than a minute to create a whole backup of the of the full drive and then when you have to recover it, make sure you keep the same partition, don't resize it, because if you're gonna resize it, it might not install the backup properly or recover the backup. Keep it the same size of partition. And as you can see, it's taking only like probably less than two minutes to actually do create this partition image. Actually, it's moving a lot quicker than just seconds. It's not actually, it's probably took less than, probably took just a minute. There we go, the operation is successful. So now we have a made a backup on our hard drive and if we need to recover, what we gotta do, we just gotta go, we just gotta go recover my disk. Then go browse and here we go, we have the Windows 10 test recovery made. Just gotta click OK. Then just gotta go next. If you want to recover the whole disk and partition or if you want to choose wh whichever file or and folders you wanted to recover i just go recover full disk and then you just got to choose this whole disk everything just recover it click next and this is why i was saying it's going to be about five to ten minutes depending how fast your computer is right now i'm going to be actually timing it and we're going to see how long it's going to take to recover that whole windows partition instead of like trying to reinstall Windows manually, which would probably be about a couple hours or, you know, if you have to reinstall all the apps and stuff, so it will be quite a bit. And then plus, if you also need to reinstall all the, all the updates, this will be taking a good chunk of your day to reinstall Windows. But with this cool program, all you gotta do is just create an image and then you can back it up from that image. It would literally take five minutes, but sometimes it could take like 10 to 15 minutes if it really takes a long time and by the way there is also an option here you can restart your computer when operation is completed so you can check that mark as well I'm just gonna fast forward it further so it doesn't take so much of your time so let's just let's just see when it's all done there we go it was six minutes before this operation was completed and as you can see a recover operation succeeded so let's go ahead and see how the new Windows has been reinstalled press OK then you can just close this window and it's going to automatically restart computer. At this point, if you don't press anything, it's going to load straight to Windows. You don't need to do any actions at all. You just got to wait till it loads up. There we go. So it's a brand new, fresh Windows copy. And as you can see, there is absolutely nothing here and it automatically actually changed the resolution for our screen so it's actually much smaller as you can see everything is really small because when i made this image i had a different monitor that was 1080p this is a quad hd so 1440p this way you just gonna have to go and change the resolution go to the display settings and then just change that resolution okay there we go guys so this is how it's done it's just super simple it literally took me 10 minutes to reinstall windows to a fresh copy what else you can do you can go ahead and install all the programs that you need on your windows and make another copy with programs already installed and this way it will even save you more time because you're going to be able to recover windows from the image with all the apps and programs already installed so this is going to be even better this is just a fresh copy i didn't install any programs on it but i did install only updates so it was updated all the way up to the time that I made this image, which was in April, and this wasn't that far. So I hope I'm not going to have to install too many updates from Windows till now. This is it, guys. I hope you find it helpful. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos. And if you have any comments, questions, leave in the comment section below. Hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.